really wanted to go out and document how bad the streets were, but also show people how good they could be. And right away the films got people motivated, and they used them as tools, and they used them as rallying cries to say, let's make our city better. Hey everybody, it's finally here, Memorial Day 2013, the City Bike Bike Share launch. As you can see, it's a press bonanza. Never seen this many cameras, this many people turn out for a press event. So as you know, Street Films, we have done more bike share films throughout the world than anybody. That includes going to Hangzhou in China, where they have 50,000 bikes. Uh, Paris with the Velib system, but also here in the United States, where we've been to Washington, D.C and Minneapolis. I finally made it over to the new Kosciuszko Bridge and it's bicycle and pedestrian 20 foot wide path. And the path is beautiful, it's amazing. Of course there's too many lanes for cars. Clarence, do you like riding the 7 tree? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. My name is Clarence Eckerson II, and your name is? Clarence Eckerson Yes, and we live here in Jackson Heights, and we would love to see the Fast Forward plan fully enacted, because from here to West Forth, where we're going today, we would save 110 hours per year. And that's a lot of time, right, Clarence? Yes. So yes. we want the subways fixed, right? Yes, fixed the subway. It's very apparent when you're here is that it is almost completely silent. This is the quietest city that I've ever ridden a bike in or been in. For example, this street, you could stand in the roadway for minutes at a time without seeing a car. Welcome to one of the most original new pedestrian plazas in New York City. We're at Corona Plaza here in the heart of Queens. This plaza is unlike any other, as in terms of just the numbers of families and children out enjoying it. Hey everybody, I am in Portland, Oregon at the foot of the Hawthorne Bridge and this is Bike Rush Hour. Hi, it's Clarence Eckerson from Street Films here again. It was about three weeks ago that I went out on my bicycle to show you how much the streets have changed with coronavirus uh, restrictions going on. See here as I pan, there's almost no traffic at times, just no traffic. It's actually as quiet as I've ever heard it. You know, sometimes when you come to a city, the best thing you can do is go out and get lost. And you know, I don't mean really getting completely lost, but bring a map and take some turns, go left and right, see the nuances, charm, and kind of interesting wrinkles that every city has. I feel like I own this place, this space underneath the highways and the byways. This place was built just for me, it feels like. And I am just down here along the water and reflecting. And I'm gonna come along and I have just hit my 22nd bike share in the world. I'm gonna be riding a mom on my bike, thank you very much. As you know, we've done a lot of documentation over the years on Snack Down. We've even done a comic strip about it. So we're serious here about Snack Down. We love the Snack Down. And yesterday we got a really nice snowfall here in New York City. So in anticipation of that, I decided to come on out in my neighborhood the day before the snow and take some before footage of some of these intersections to show you what they look like without the snow. On the actual parking sign, they tell you the design of bike lanes. So whether it's a protected bike lane or it's a painted bike lane or a completely separated bike lane, they break it down and how it works. I now haven't seen that in any other city, so that's pretty cool. There are so, so many things that have been done to improve livability here in Ronigan. As you have seen, everything is attainable by bike. Today we're out at the foot of the Queensboro Bridge with Transportation Alternatives and their community breakfast. And we're asking everybody one simple question. Are you riding your bike more than you were five years ago and why? Bike to work day, free snacks and coffee. Really cool hybrid system they got going on here where they have stations, but they're not like City Bike or Capital Bike Share where uh, you dock them in. You physically use the U-Lock. It's a very exciting day here in the Meatpacking District because it's flower show weekend. Basically, the grid of the Meatpacking District 
has become a pedestrian super block. Street Films fans, you may remember last month we were up on 9th Avenue checking out the new bike parking protected, protected bike lanes. Anyway, we're ready to go one further. We found city bike, bike share parking protected, protected bike lanes here on Allen Street. And I'm in Rotterdam and I'm surrounded by one of my favorite things, trams that run over grass. Hey everybody, it's Clarence from Street Films. I'm here at the Tour de Lille and I was at this ride in 2001 and documented a long time ago for a cable access show called Bike TV. And we're here to ride, we're here to talk to people about how much they love riding in Montreal, bicycling in Montreal. This is one of the coolest cities ever. <laughs> gym sets that you can go and you can work out on. You can do these things, you can do these things, you can swish, 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 you can do all this crazy stuff. And people love them. They're all over the city and you can see them constantly being used by young and old. We're here at Broadway Lafayette, which is actually a pretty decent bike lane. It's got a lane plus a buffer, so you do have a little margin for error, but still the cars do drive pretty quickly down this street. And uh, they do park in it, which is very bad. So it's not hospitable to cyclists at all. Pedestrians were an afterthought in the planning process. Cars were everywhere. And in fact, the city was promoting cars as a good sign of vitality and economic prosperity. We're here at the Floating Bridge, and that's a uh, bikeway, greenway, multi-use pathway that was constructed on top of pontoons. And it had to be done this way because there was so little land available, and actually the land that was available was taken up by the highway. So to continue this greenway, you had no other choice but then to bring the path out onto the water. And as you can see, it's wonderful. It mixes things up when you're out here riding. people very safe cars have to actually go slower when they make their turn these are wide and they were done with very cheap materials you got these flexi posts a little paint and some textured pavement and that's it much like again the snack downs we showed uh, in my neighborhood in the most recent film showing how both sides of the street can be narrowed to see what has happened in transformation over the years to what this plaza has become First, putting out temporary materials, then putting out real benches, then redoing the cobblestones and making this really friendly to people has really been uh, quite a sight to watch over the last almost 20 years.